Right over the bed, over the bed. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get some sports talk. Up no, 50 points against the Timberwolves, and he did it without making a single three-point shot. Jalen Rose, what do you think about him going old school and getting 50 without hitting a three? Well, the Lakers are operating like a well-oiled machine and players have fallen into their roles. The guys like Danny Green who decided who are shooters, they spot up and take their open opportunities when they come. But this is all about those two gentlemen right there mm -hmm. playing like two of the top five players in the game. This is why you put those guys together. Because when you put the right players around them, Everything will flow and come together. And then you put the players around them that know what they was brought here for and know the role they betray on this team. This team will be good. They know what they was brought here for. They know some of the players know they was running for defense, three-point shots. And you know, it just they they know it was brought and, and, and rim attack. They they know the roles they supposed to be playing on this team. They ain't gonna try to do so much. They gonna do enough around them and allow Anthony Davis and LeBron to take over the games. They just doing enough around them to be able to have this good season and be 21 and three. And we felt like it was going to be seamless because LeBron James is one of the best passers that the league has seen, who's also a terrific scorer and improved shooter to the point where when he gets hot, it's really good, it's really impressive to watch him knock down threes. And then all of a sudden, Anthony Davis, you insert him into the mix, the drop pass for pick and rolls. You can give it to him on the block. He can spin out for lobs. He does it in the half court. He does it in transition. He's a complete basketball player. And playing with LeBron is unlocking that greatness in his game. And, you know, I don't like to compliment you too much, but you did make a really good point last week about load management and LeBron James. The best thing to do... It's all about... I know I have another good guy right here beside me. Now I can play my game. I don't have to carry as much because I know the guy next to me will put up a, just the amount of good points to go along with the points I put up and we can win these games. Not that I have to carry this team every night. I know I have another another great player right next to me to be able to do the same thing I could do. I have the help. I don't have to be drained because I got to put my all to it just to carry a team. And I know I have this help right here that could go for me every night. Is to get a big lead and then sit out those minutes in the fourth quarter. And what the Lakers are doing now that LeBron wasn't used to, especially in Cleveland, they maintain the lead when he's on the bench. Like, that's something that he hasn't been able to do. He had to play so many minutes for that Cleveland team, so many games for that Cleveland team. And with this Lakers team, they find a way to sometimes expand leads when he is not in the game. And Jalen, I want to show you something that he did to Gorgie Dang. I want to show you because LeBron, LeBron can still get up and down the floor and he can still get up off the floor. Look. Because when you sit down, LeBron, you got to have a guy that's in there that know how to lead the team while you on the bench. How to keep this momentum going when I'm not on the floor. And Andy Davis know how, because he carried the team before. So he know what to do without another good guy on the floor with me. I know how to lead this team while you getting your rest. I got to keep this momentum going while you not on the floor. This dunk right here, tell me what you see. Gorgie Jane, the walk of shame. It's when you go out to shoot around at nine in the morning and you see people leave the hat on the clothes from the night before. That's what Gorgie Jane has to do after this dunk by LeBron James with ferocity. But I have to say this too. Jane playing alongside Carl Anthony Towns reminded me of the luxury that Anthony Davis now has. Remember so many people were assassinating the character of one Rob Palenka? And yep. I was one person standing on the table to defend him. But there's certain lineups where you can be like, okay, we'll put AD at the four because he doesn't always like to play the five. So we can throw Dwight Howard in there who's been defensive player of the year. We can throw JaVale McGee in there. So they can throw so... 
That's why they got them guys. That's why they got the white iron. That's why they kept McGee. Because they know Anthony Davis don't like to play the five. They just had the big man behind him pretending the real with him. And let Anthony Davis discriminate and let him do what he do at the four. So many bodies at a player like Carl Anthony Towns that allows Anthony Davis to really focus on his offense and go to work. So now we have the refs calling not one but two delay of game calls on Chris Paul in the following game from when he got one on Jordan Bell. Do you think the refs were singling out Chris Paul and making a point? Obviously they were, but I want to make a bigger point. It was a mistake for the officials to give Jordan Bell basically a game change and delay a game to put them on the free throw line when they played against Oklahoma. I don't care what Chris Paul knew about the rule. That was not the time to put them on the free throw line at that pivotal point of the game. So now you create a unique domino. Are we going to start calling this on the nightly basis? Man, that, that, that was a big turning point in that game between the T-Wood and OKC. When Chris Paul pointed out that Bill came on the floor with his jersey untucked, it changed everything. That caused them a win right there. And it gave OKC a win. Now, the referees are going to be singling out Chris Paul about everything he do. Y'all, I watch a lot of basketball, and I see Kyrie's jersey hanging out all of the time. I can name you 50 players, including myself, who used to always have his jersey hanging out. So you try and tell me that that's going to be something? Is that what we doing here? So I, yes. I don't like going down that path. I don't like it either. And I think it's like Chris Paul. You know, he's he's obviously he's. he's you know, he knows the rules. He's a veteran. He's, he's part of the, the group that's sort of like the competition committee or whatever. But here's the thing. It's he's checking into the game. So if you're checking into the game and the ref calls you in, then you cannot have an untucked jersey. That's how specific we are. Also, when the ref calls you into the game, it's a dead ball. Like, he was walking in and tucking in his jersey. He know the rule. I'm pretty sure somebody told Jordan Bill about the rule. He was walking in. And tucking his jersey in. Chris Paul didn't waste no time. He said, look at that. He got his jersey untucked. And he helped his team get that win just by pointing that out. So you're not even delaying the game. Like, it's just kind of silly to me, this whole thing. And I, I agree with you, the refs should not have made that call. And I also agree that they specifically sing singled him out to give him two delay of game calls in one game. And he was right. They did end up on SportsCenter. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports...